Hey guys, Shally here from Shally May, and today we're gonna be talking about Marblex. So Marblex is a game-based web free service company, and they aim to bring the highest quality games to the market than any other company, and they produce AAA titles. They have a membership NFT, a wallet, a decentralized exchange where we can stake token, warp token, swap token, and connect with three networks now. Without further ado, we will be talking about four games that are incorporated with the Marplex ecosystem that we can play and earn. Ninu Kuni Crossworld is somewhat a phenomenal game of Marplex with millions of downloads within the first few days. So the Korean studio behind this is Netmarble so it's no stranger to the mobile games. This game is a beautiful MMORPG where you as a player get to explore a world, fight monsters, ride cats, and go on quests all while leveling your character and improving your gear it uses a unique feature i haven't seen before where you player essentially plays for you they have the afk when there is a quest to go on your player will move to the location necessary to complete the quest on its own this game is bridging web 2 gamers to web 3 gamers this game has a dual coin system that you can farm by dailies familiar adventure hunting monsters in chaos fields and you need to use the marblex app to exchange the currency within the game Overall, the game is a very well made, but most importantly, it's an actual game. So this is a game where Web2 gamers would play and are playing. So I enjoy it myself, but it's going to take a game like this to bridge the gap between traditional and Web3 gamers. So I'm rooting for Ninu Kuni Crossroads to do well. And the second one is Meta World My City. So Meta World My City is not Marvel's national casual board game with the play to earn economy. And while it continues to build on the gameplay of its predecessor, it also improves on several systems and introduces a meta world. A real world, intellectually based metaverse. In the board game, we've switched from a completely randomized roll of the dice to a selection of small number cards, allowing for a more strategic game and the ability to combine multiple character cards to create our own skill. The meta world, a metaverse space, is based on a real world cadastral maps allowing players to hold land construct buildings upgrade and more the game is available and downloading on the app store google play and the pc version so there are a total of nine channels that we can enter to play the game and each channel has a different entry requirements character card combination ranges entry freeze and victory conditions and it also have a meta world land a virtual world based on real world maps we can buy and sell land and buildings and we can merge our own plot into larger plots only real estate earns us daily reward and puts us in the world rankings so this game has a token as well you can check more info of meta world on their twitter and on their discord as well do you enjoy this video and you feel that you finally found a high quality web3 channel on youtube check out my other free educational content and subscribe for a new video every week a3 still alive is the latest mmorpg by netmarbor and the marblex the game is available on mobile devices and can be found on google play and apple store and pc so the play to earn features is enabled thanks to in ethereum a utility token that exists in the marblex ecosystem the game introduces an initrium dungeon feature that allows users to earn initrium ore the asset can then be exchanged for the initrium tokens once you have these tokens you can exchange them for crypto assets or fiat and the game modes are 30 player battle royale the dark presence which you can see here raid port seal conquest and the soul linker to start earning real tokens in a3 still alive you will have to start playing the game and upgrade character and as a new player enter the initerian dungeon collect initerian ore refine initerian ore into initerium tokens so if you are a fan of mmorpg try this game and maybe you are not in it for the money but also for the gameplay as well
Next on our list is the King of Fighters Arena. And this is by Net Marble as well. So this genre is of the action fighting RPG if you love that. And it takes it to another level and being backed by the famous King of Fighters IP. The King of Fighters Arena is certainly receiving some positive reviews from their community. Apart from the vast amount of playability and accessibility options the game does a fair job of giving all players an equal chance of winning the battle with no pay to win mechanics all the heroes in the game are available to be played completely play for store free and in all matches store. be it normal or rank mode yes a competitive rank mode to test the player's skill and understanding of the game's mechanic is also in place the King of Fighters Arena is available to be played as a free-to-play game on both the Google Play and the Apple Store and the PC version. The King of Fighters Arena is also a play-to-earn game where players can earn some cryptocurrency simply by playing the game and linking their accounts with their Marblex wallet. This might be a turn off for many players who don't, want, who don't want to engage in token farming due to privacy and the best part is that you necessarily don't have to. The game gives you an option to simply play the game as it is without linking your account to a crypto wallet. Overall, if you love a fighting genre game with a touch of Kill Fighter, this game is for you and you can use your controller to control the players in the game. Now that you know the four games that are available for playing in Marblex, would you give the Web3 games a try and consider earning as well?